Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Minecraft on the Coffee Craft server with Anon Jr. And Ray Est and Arcadius will also be joining us today. Um, much like her character, Ray Est is a little under the weather. I see the missing hearts. Uh, so she'll she'll be on the mic a little bit later, you know, here and there, but not all the time because nobody wants to hear that hacking and coughing. Um, so I will unmute Discord in a minute, but uh, just a little bit of housekeeping, a reminder. If you are getting value out of this series, if you're having fun being entertained, help, please consider supporting us at live.anonjunior.com. You can leave a uh, tip or donation or something that will at least help offset some of the uh, server costs and um, help uh, help channel out. Uh, or at least <laughs> share it with your friends and anybody else who might be interested, especially since it seems like Minecraft is going through a bit of a uh, resurgence here lately. And, uh, okay, all that's done out of the way. Let me unmute Discord. Say hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> all right, so that hot mess uh, of a half-finished mountain, that's going to wait a little bit later. What I would like to do is work on this guy back here. Arcadius has built us a little lighthouse on our peninsula and uh, kindly asked for some redstone up on top. And then if we've got time, I might take a look at some of the things we can do for our community center. Because now that 1.14.4 is out, the villagers are pretty much as settled as they're going to be. At least until, you know, 1.15 comes out. <laughs> Which, I'm sure, it, it won't change it quite as much as it did before. I think I can reuse a large portion of the building the way it is. It's just going to take some minor changes here and there. Uh, but, we'll get into that later. Let's take a look at the lighthouse. There we go. Let's grab a vantage point from over here. Landing has not been my strong suit today. Okay, most days. Today? So, there is our beautiful Hatteras Lighthouse. We almost had a Michigan Lighthouse. That's a tale for another day. And right now, it's just uh, a little bit of a shell, but that gives us plenty of space for building whatever we need to do for the lighting. And now that comes to the question. Is this going to be... What, what is this? Are we going to do a big old four Gondor and just put a bonfire at the top every time night comes around, or... We looking for something with some redstone lamps, maybe? Yeah, I just want it to spin. You want the light to... Like, you want me to make a piston feed tape and spin some lamps around, or... <laughs> you want the wow, actual light uh... to... <laughs> <laughs> I, should... I mean, if you want to get all crazy with it and you have fun, I'm just... I was just hoping for like a spinning lamp or something, or at least the light source to. Yeah, know, I was yeah. gonna say you're not gonna get the lamp to spin. Uh, we uh, might be able to set up a clock to uh, to rotate the the light, so the the lamps that are lit will rotate around in a circuit. Okay, that sounds like a promising venture. I need to get back over there with some carpet, I think. Did I carpet it already? Are you over there? I am over there, and no, you have not carpeted it yet. Okay. And I did once, but... <clears throat> things nighttime is happened. falling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fix that. Hold on. Alright, let's uh, grab some of these slabs. And you used oak on the roof of the uh, hut. 
I did, however, I don't know if it's going to stay that way. I've uh, asked kindly for Reyes to handle the making it pretty aspect of that cottage. Okay. Because uh, I would like to put a wood platform for these lights. That'll give me a little bit more room to work with. But um, I also want to make sure that... Uh, it's built in the same wood that matches the roof. Mm. Um, although, given what you got going right now, oak should be okay. Maybe, maybe birch, but birch seems like it might be a little too light. Um, uh, again, I, I haven't heard back from Rast on it or not, whether she's going to take on that okay. uh, project, but I was waiting to hear back from her before I pushed forward with anything at least regarding the aesthetics of the cottage aspect so difficult sometimes. Okay. I should back up to where I need to go. So I'm not going to keep burning rockets to fly up and back down and up and back down when I don't want to drop a bunch of shulker boxes only to find out, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's in the way. You need to move that. is up to some mischief. I can't see her, but I, I, I feel a mischievous smile there. <laughs> Alright, so how do I want to do this? I want to put those away. I need some redstone lamps. How many redstone lamps do I need? Because how many redstone lamps I put in there and in what configuration will give me how much room I have. I'd actually... You don't have to turn on your mic. You can type it in chat where I asked. But um, do you want to build the platform? The light's going to sit one, maybe two blocks off of the top of this. Or even with the top of this. Because that makes a difference in where I start building things. Um. Because I was actually thinking about doing a small wood lip that comes out a little bit. So we get room to walk around the lights at the top. Are you okay with using the oak? But no, the one in white shawl. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, hmm. 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 Okay. back 
And let's grab some oak. Oh, okay. Um, so it did leave carpet in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, did you? I did. Okay. I just need to go get black carpet now. All right. Sorry, I'm down lag. No, no. That, that's not it at all. Just stairs not cooperating. Stonish. But this, uh, this general idea. Okay. So it's going to have to be the stone brick since we're not going to be able to do the... Oh, well, I mean... Uh, we wanted to have that manufactured look. And the smooth stone, like at the foundation, doesn't have stairs to do this sort of thing. So stone brick... Okay, if there's one thing we definitely have a lot of, it's stone brick. Oh, oh, oh. We also have falling. <laughs> Somebody you didn't want to burn a lot of rockets. It seemed to be burning a lot of rockets. Oh, yeah. I think you missed. Yeah, I think I missed too. But I don't need to carp at the top. You're putting wood down over it. There we go. That works. Beautiful. There's a joke in there. I'll save that one for later. <laughs> Sorry. Did you see the sign? Yes, I, I saw the... Is it not glorious? Uh, no, not really, not really, no. Oh, goodness. No. Alright, uh, which one had more than just the brick? Got like 82 boxes of brick, and I know one of them had an assortment. Okay. I think that's the one I want. Oh, they both have what I want. I think that... <laughs> so much well, for organization. Uh... Let's just say I forgot to clean up some of the project boxes. <clears throat> All right, so okay, spawn bird. Is it not nighttime? It looked like it was about to be nighttime. 
Yeah, not that. That, uh, hmm. Oh, yeah. How about I actually take some of that stone brick that I went back there to get? Alright, let's grab some mossy, let's grab some stairs, let's grab some cracked, let's grab some regular. Grab a little more of the regular. That? Oh yeah, they do have uh, mossy stairs, don't they? we're doing some of the beautification first just so I got room to figure out uh, what I can fit in where all right let me grab that let me grab that oh <laughs> can't put that there Where you at, Rast? Alright, uh... Take a peek and tell me, is this the... Do you want uh, another bit of stone level above? Above this or no? And do you want this lip to extend out a little further or not? Now we've got some research in the Discord discussion board. Yeah, unfortunately I've run out of monitors. I need a fourth <laughs> monitor. Oh, I mean, who couldn't use a fourth monitor? And a fifth. Should I pull the lip out a little bit more? Like maybe throw a couple of slabs at the... Or throw a slab ring around the edge of the stair? Because that's only going to... Or you think that's good? And it's probably going to take a little finagling to round it off. Uh, matter of fact... Oh, there's no cracked stone slabs? That's sad. Like that far out? That way we've got a little bit more roundness to the corner. Or at least in keeping with the roundness that we've got on the uh, main design. 
Well, it's also not wrapped all the way around. We can play with the roundness later. I just want to make sure that I know how much floor space I got. Like that? Or are you talking about the slabs themselves? <laughs> tappity 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 tap. Oh, without the these. a slab somewhere. Oh. I'm going to do this the hard way. Are you going to do all of that in concrete or just the... Uh Or is that terracotta? Ah. Alright, ring around the layouts. And then we'll have our space. slabs for now. I'm actually going to not use the mossy, but there's no cracked stairs, are there? Precise portion. Get the stairs to line up just so. Actually, I've been kind of thinking about some of what does and doesn't need to be changed and added in Minecraft here lately. Um, As much as I love a lot of the stuff that came out of 1.14 series of updates, it did seem a little rushed. And there have been more than a few of the weirdest issues and a few mechanics things that seemed like they could have been caught and dealt with sooner. brick ring where it is, or because I'm getting ready to put it in a floor. Okay, not my smartest move.
Uh, yeah, I also need I need a crafting bench. And it's nighttime already. Wunderbar. Okay. So here's the I'll just say if we put that a little bit further out. Let's get... All right, let's think about this. I could do... Two, three... Six... That'd be twelve... Twenty-four... Um... basically just put that cabin there as a placeholder hoping that uh, one of my fellow coffee addicts would uh, help me out with that one I mean, as far as the concrete base I think it fits if that's what you're referring to the smooth stone I mean the rest of it that's completely up to you guys Think too high is gonna be uh, tall enough for the lights, or should I go taller? I mean, uh, with the understanding that we are gonna put a cap on it too. That would be three. I always like odd numbers anyway. It was odd like that. Yeah, it seems you can see the lamps up to about this a little 15 blocks out from the ground. All right. Um, since we are not using mossy brick anywhere else, I'm going to put some mossy brick in the middle of the lights where I think the redstone is going to end up going just so we don't accidentally break it. That way it is very visually distinct. Does that make sense? Sounds good. I just want to make sure that I'm uh, <laughs> putting redstone on stuff we're not going to mistakenly break somewhere along the way. Like, huh, that looks weird. I wonder why that was there. Oh. <laughs> not that that would ever happen. No, not around here. No. Alright, I give up on the lattice work there. Oh, oh fly! Well, I probably should have brought all those shulkers with me. <laughs> Alright, I need one. Four. Seven more. Bam. 
All right. So there's our three high light. We need a. Uh, we need this to trigger at night. So that means we're gonna need a daylight sensor. And we want this to rotate. That might be the tough one. Let me go grab all the boxes I left behind. sort out the two of those another day. They can go in there for now. Along with that guy. He got left behind. I need that guy. I need that guy. Might as well pack that guy up. <laughs> How do we get out of here now? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Is this the new escape room experience? Here, I'll put this back down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh... That in there. So I can put that there. I'm hanging on to that guy. Putting that there because I got another one already out. Just rest as carefully. I was about to say, you say no uh -oh around here. That's not. <laughs> those ain't kosherized rules. <laughs> we stalled. There, oh, no, now we flew too high. Do I have my rocket twos out? No, I have those put away. Alright, weird. Alright. There is our parts. We need the backpack out at the moment. We get our ender chest. We got fireworks? stare listlessly at the inside and try to figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright. So, we need a clock that runs around around the inside. Sensor requires quartz, I think stone, and and glass was it? Bother. No, it's wood planks, glass, and quartz. Okay. I can put that away and grab that out there. And I need a 
least one. Uh, let's go ahead and craft up another one just so we get one for future projects. Who's firing off all the fireworks? That was me accidentally trying to open a chest. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how many just went off in my hand because I'm trying to read something on one screen while trying to open a chest on the other. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Come on. That's just going to light the one. I think that's just going to light the one. Okay, so that's not going to work. My thought was to uh, get a redstone block on some sort of piston circuit and just kind of push it around the edges there. Um, but that's just going to power the one block. live dangerously and sleep on the edge of a ledge. Alright, what else was I going to try? I was going to try, let me grab a torch, dust on a block. trying to figure out the power what power is what the torch is going to do the block immediately next to it the powered block is going to do the block immediately next to it the dust is going to do all the ones around it Let's see even if I put that there. And just out of curiosity. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's only ever going to do the one block. Alright, so I need the runner ring of dust. Because the block under is powered. enough time powering them all, much less rotating them around. Uh, hmm. Let's grab some wool. That's usually good for working on circuits. If 
I start running like that? No, because the wool itself is not powered, which is not going to power the redstone. But what if I do this and that? I was going to save that one for later. I was going to bear some later with that. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how to light up a three high tall thing of lanterns. Because if I can't figure out how to light it up, then no amount of redstone is going to help me automate it. We get a couple of eyes. I mean, maybe with a little more space, I could get like an O on one side and H on another, and then we got the I. And <laughs> <laughs> are you telling me we've got a burnout uh, <laughs> playdowns? Uh, just lighting. I'm pretty sure if I spend a little bit of time on YouTube, I could find somebody who's done exactly what we want to do. But I'm trying to get to the point where I can figure this stuff out without too much trouble. Of course, it doesn't help that with that, I'm actually powering it from the bottom when I'm really going to end up powering it from up top. Uh, hmm. Would an observer line help feed down the middle? No, 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 no. That, that's not the problem. The The problem is, is the redstone is running to the middle block on the bottom, which is only lighting the middle or the bottom row in the middle block of the middle row because they're sitting on top of directly powered lamps. And then when I run another redstone line around the top, it only lights the top row. So the left and the right of the middle row end up not lit. <laughs> yeah. You see the conundrum. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I can get the middle powered, that'll power those guys there. I'll get our middle row powered. So that also means that I should put that guy there. Throw some dust on top. And if I were to power the dust, that should... No. But not powering the block. I saw what you did to the last villager. What? What villager? Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah, what no villager? Proof. Yeah, dude. It was on the stream, published and everything. Are you about to be a villager denier? What? I know nothing. You have no proof. Okay. So that's going to power those guys. The question is, I either need to directly power those guys in the middle, or directly power that guy on the... Yeah. Because right now he's only being powered by that guy, so if I can figure out a way to more direct... more directly... more directly power him... Like I would have thought 
at the wall. Because uh, as a solid block, the wool should be powered. And by being powered, that should power that block and the two blocks next to it. come back to this at a later date because I am missing something about the way that power radiates out from the various various things uh, hmm. I'd like to try to figure this one out without resorting to somebody's tutorial but I'm missing some of the information because, uh... No, I don't have that scene set up in here. Um, hmm. If I can alt-tab over, let's go over to the Minecraft wiki. Power. I definitely do not want the Power Rangers movie. Thank you, Google. I, I appreciate the thought. Oh, that's the enchantment power. That's not, uh... Let's go in there and let's go. Hmm. Power, power level. An update. Although I wonder, oh, we're going to die by phantoms because we're staring at the page. Right. <laughs> <laughs> phantoms happen. Yeah, that's not the opera I was hoping to go to. All right, so let's do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all this. some torches. Here I am looking for four redstone torches when they're sitting right there. Good job. Professional Minecrafter. Could be worse. Build like the completely...
Um, what? Ah. Weird. Alright, so that redstone block is powering that redstone dust, which is running into the bottom center lamp, because the bottom center lamp is powered, it is powering the three directly adjacent to it. got to be on a block. Uh, what if I did that? What if instead I went like that and then powered that with a repeater? Okay. So that gets me the middle three. And the bottom one. Because it is that center block that's powered, and it is powering the four blocks adjacent to it. One shooting? Oh, uh, okay. No, this place isn't safe anymore. <laughs> so what? Mm, I'm getting spawns in here. Inside the building? Yeah. That, that usually happens when it's dark in there. Oop. Did you add more lighting? Oh, uh... No, no, not yet. There's no point, I'm okay. still in the middle of the building. Gotcha. Yeah, Ray just uh, requested that I put a spiral staircase in here. Absolutely. There should absolutely be a spiral staircase in there. So we'd be stuck on that one too. Oh, crud. No crud? Yeah, I knocked a hole in the wall. Well, why'd you do that? Accidents were done. <laughs> Mistakes uh, were made. I th think that was one of the carpet ones too. We have to go try and figure out. And fix that real quick. Because between some stone blocks and a concrete block, one of these uh valuable than the other. So we gotta <laughs> figure out where that block went. <laughs> ah. That didn't sound good either. Hard landing was hard. Yeah, well, you know. Alright, um... That away 
for the moment. Put that away for the moment. Move those over, get a little more on uh, my hotbar. That's just going to get those three and the one below it. Alright. If I put dots on either side. Not going to help. If I were to do something like that, that's going to divert in the weirdest way. Yeah. That's just going to power those two, and not that guy. So I need to light more than just the one. Alright, let's go back to dust. Redstone block for now. We got our bottom lights lit. Mouse is glitchy. Hi, Jebo. I know what Jebo wants. He wants me to contemplate petting him in search of the answer. Okay, so that gets us lit lamps all the way around. Because we've got a cross of redstone dust powering the center bottom, which is powering that block is running into, and the blocks on either side, and the middle block above it. We've got these torches powering the two blocks around them. And this cross here powering each way. Uh, what? Ooh, too much. Put in the center. Is 
because that's going to leave those those guys always on no matter what is not what we want oh is that enough to no that's not enough to power the bottom row that's just enough to power those guys but I I thought that would have powered the center block. So that way the center block would have powered the redstone beneath it. Uh, hmm. Which only gets us the top two rows. power the redstone below that block. by looks odd. Looks odd as in the way you like odd looking stuff or looks odd as in hmm. I mean I like the way you uh, the A-frame is connected to the base like that. That looks nice. I think it may just be the the block palette next to the other block palette it may just not be doing it. That's that's kind of the reason I went away from the brick base and put the concrete base instead. Because I was originally, I think you already knew this, but I was originally going to make the the base of the lighthouse out of brick, and I just I could, didn't do it because it didn't look right. I mean, as much as I like the brick texture, I can never seem to find a place to put it other than in, like, roads. I don't know. I just, I've never been able to use it. This thing that's just kind of tickling the back corner of my mind that I got something wrong that shouldn't be. Oh, those are fish. I thought we had blocks in the water over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, man, those blocks went this, way over there. This is Minecraft. <laughs> Everything's a block. Come on now. <laughs> no, like a floating block in the water, and it turns out it's just some fat yellow fish. Yeah. Okay. So by powering that block, that should power that redstone. Which should power that block, which should powers that lamp. So Alright. What does that tell me? still got something really weird about the power. I need... Do I need more space? Is that the problem? Uh... Alright, just running the redstone is not enough to power the block. I gotta actually, like, directly run power into the block. Hmm. 
I'd be concerned that her project box for the lighthouse includes a drowned head. Nah. Not yet. I mean, is that really anything worse than what we've seen so far? Alright, um, hmm. I feel like it needs to be Benny Hill theme song or something. <laughs> hey, what much room is left on the ledge up there? You got a little bit of room, why? Just curious if you don't need... If you don't need... You cut out on that one. I wasn't sure if you might need to move the lamps out one spot to give yourself more room in the middle. Uh, would that make it easier? Ish. Um, I keep running into the these issues though, where I know I am missing something. I'm just not sure. I, I, there, there, there's there's this thing tickling in the back of my head telling me that there's a piece that I am missing. Are you using any repeaters? All over this place. not getting any power. I would have thought that that block was powered. But here, let's just for kicks do this. Gets me those guys again, which is what I had before with just the dust. my boxes. Yeah, I was looking to see if you had any stone on you real quick. Because I'm wondering, from the ground level, this looks a little thin. And I was going to ask Wrath from the ground floor what she thought about putting a stone slab perimeter around the outside of what you already have there. One, to give you more footing up there, and two, to give it a little bit... What in the world? Go away. I'm talking here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and to also give it a little bit more uh, size. Uh, we had already talked about possibly extending out the platform a little bit. But again, uh, I don't... More room helps, but not in the way that you think. Because I'm still having trouble powering. 
if we expand, if we push these out a block, I'm going to have to throw more lamps in there, and then I still have the problem of how am I going to power the lamps in the space provided. Um, another lip might be nice, but right now I'm already having enough trouble with a 3x3. Three three. Making it a 4x4 four four is not... <laughs> That, that's no, not simplifying just, the problem. That all, That's giving me space, yes, but no, I, I have more blocks with more weirdness to power. No, I'm not asking you to add more lamps. Leave it a 3-3, three, because three, that centers That gives us room in the center, or on the corners, to actually decorate up, like put some mossy cobblestone up through the centers there or something. Uh... I wouldn't actually use mossy where at the beach, so yeah. but you get my point. Uh, here, I'll put it together. We'll see. I'm just trying to figure something out because it from just being up there two minutes ago, looking at what you were dealing with, it looks like it's a little too tight on space for you to be able to light everything. I'm no redstone genius, trust me. I, I no, prefer well, just not to even play with the stuff. I can but, light uh, everything, but I can't get it to go on the daylight sensor and power everything. But again, I don't... Yeah. Th this space is not going to help the way you think it's going to help. Okay. But I will gladly go ahead can and do we, it anyway, just in case you want the aesthetic. Yeah, can we um, clock it instead and just get rid of the daylight sensor altogether? Well, would that help? Because I know the until the until sensor. I can until I can figure out how to power them, I can't figure out how to get a clock. Because if gotcha. I can't power it just with a simple on-off, I can't cycle. Gotcha. Yeah, leave the scaffolding there though, because I need. No, oh, no, I'm just standing here. <laughs> Although, if you can find that mossy brick that went somewhere, I greatly appreciate that being back where it was. Mossy brick. Yeah. Is it down here? No. Oh, maybe it was a regular brick. Oh, wait, no. All right. Because I haven't used any mossy brick here unless you brought it with you. Yeah, I used mossy brick for the center part so we knew where the redstone was. I got it. Oh, then no, where did okay. this random two stone come from? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, from when <laughs> I was making the repeaters. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I was about to say, I, I don't know. I've been... Uh, stuff all, all right. <laughs> That's what happens when you have three of us uh, coffee addicts in one spot. <laughs> mm, that was that was a heavy hit. Oh. 
actually, if you can only get two of them lit, we might can use that. Put a ring of the uh, stone blocks, around, or not stone, but uh, iron blocks around the bottom. Make it look like it's the pedestal that the uh, the whole thing is sitting on from the outside. Oh, never mind, you figured it. Forget me. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Now that is, of course, with a redstone block down the center, but I should, if I mine it with the right tool, I'll put that there. Would that be there? Dang it. That there. Getting mad about block placement. I put that there. Is that gonna run? That's not gonna run. That's that is a lot of red here. spaghetti. Nah. <laughs> That's nothing. And I don't want to put. Okay. Oh. Just break the stuff I want, not everything. Just doesn't get me all that down there. How do I get the power from there down to there? Nope, because I thought that that would have powered. That would have powered the block below it. I need... Test world, would, they, would that feed into an observer? No, because the observer is only going to pulse when it sees a change. It's not going to give off a continuous signal. So it'll see the change, fire a pulse once, and then be done. Uh, there are ways to turn that pulse into a steady signal, but not with the room that we have here. At least not yes. with my current level of understanding. Um, oh, that's right, because we had... So if I do grab I need some more torches. And I need some more stone. Uh, I'm sorry, Anon. I thought I was handing you an easy one. <laughs> Not a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Just look at it like a learning experience. I, I've offered you a, a wonderful uh, chance to, to grow. Yeah, maybe. worked before because that is going to power the redstone below now these guys are the ones that are not getting activated that's a bit too far of a gap and if I were to do that and that I'm not going to divert the redstone but it's not going to pull it down there Um, hmm. 
That at least gets us further again. I guess that's pretty close to our original starting point. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is why I keep a bunch of wool in my redstone box. To properly identify spaghetti strings. So now we're back to we have it on and off with a daylight sensor, so it is either completely on or completely off. Do you want the lamps this far out and I'll work on the rotation another day or do you want me to push them back in one and go back to the original design? I'm okay either way because no matter what happens I'm gonna have to go in try and make the roof pretty so whether you need to leave it there or take it in or whatever the case may be it doesn't really affect me either way. That's I mean, a wonderful non-answer answer. If you need to answer. actually lift... Well, if you need to lift this up, you could. Because I'm going to have to put a cap on this, so... And don't do that. What? Well, this is a, an apparatus, so this should be metal. So I'm going to... I was going to at least do the three blocks here. Uh, iron. I'm going to get some iron real fast and show you what I mean. And then I'll, I'll cap it with stone or concrete or whatever we're using the cap with. Well, if we're going to do the base with stone, I would think you'd want to do the uh, bottom part in stone. Yeah. Oh, come on, I'm thinking about it. Grab this lonesome guy and put him back in that box there. Sure. Okay. okay. Something like that, and I might even take this out one more spot so that it's the two wide diagonal. Oh, well, here, you can take these then. <laughs> um, so instead of back here, actually bringing it out to the, the sides here, and that would give you one more block in here to work with if you needed it. Yeah, I think what I might do is say, let's settle for on off with the daylight sensor for now and then revisit it as a um, circulating okay. deal later. Because okay. right now this still gives us a nice little on-off. It helps with the look. Um, and we'll get the rotating spotlight on another go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. Looking good though. It's getting there. Uh, and it went in there. That's actually going to go back into a box later. That's going to go back into a box later. This guy. tool for the job. These guys all go back in the backpack. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot to put that back in the box. All right, I'll get that later. All right, I'll leave you to figure out the cap. But we've at least got a lamp on a daylight sensor. It looks halfway decent. I'll wait until the night and then, uh... Oop. Then we can see it once it's lit up. <laughs> oh my. Okay. It's not bad at all. I need to run back to my base and grab something for the next project. We gotta do some cleanup. Clean up and prep for the next thing. I need my box of lava buckets. Suddenly, I'm worried about whatever this next thing is. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. I'm actually right. picking up some lava. Alright, stone, stone, stone. Let's go put that back there, that back there. Let's go back to the stone bricks. Oh was a box of regular stone. Why do I have that in here? Never mind. I, why well, I ask questions I don't really want the answer to. Alright, and let's get the glowstone in there. Yeah, we gotta... We've got to get our trading hall moving. So I'm <laughs> running lower than I want on glowstone, and we need a cleric to go trade with on that. Um... I would really like a stonemason. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them that I would like. What I need to do is I need to I need to do some research on just how compact a stall can be. Like, what do I need to do to make sure that they properly associate with the profession I give them? Um, that top part, I'm probably going to take down a little bit, but leave open because... I can probably take one of the compact iron farm designs that I've seen floating around. I'm thinking of using the one by Doc M. And I just got to make sure I put it up about 120, 160 blocks above where all the villagers are down there. And I think I only need three villagers to make this happen. Um, basically, we keep scaring three villagers with a zombie so they go, Ah, we need a golem. <laughs> and he's going to get knocked down. Uh, and he'll get knocked down into the same collection system we're using right now. Um, so at least there won't be a need to revamp that. So we can leave that f you know, center with the uh, sriracha sauce over there. <laughs> sriracha sauce? I was originally going to fill in the basement and turn this level but i'm actually wondering if i put the villager breeder like 120 some odd off into a direction and just have all the villagers that we're uh, gonna pump in into some system down here in the basement and then move them up to the top when we're ready to actually start using them if that might not help uh, in the meantime though what i need to do is pick up the lava Oh, I thought I had more empty buckets than that. Okay. I need two, four, six more. need eight total, so I'm going to put that there. Let's do a couple of those. Let's do one of those. Eight total. Beautiful. And we're going to carefully pick that up. We're going to carefully pick that up. 
I don't know why I'm closing the lid. Oh no, they're gonna fall into the darkness. <laughs> Alright buddy, you might not want to be standing there. Go on. Go on. Go with your buddies over there. It'll be safe in a minute. Ish. There we go. Alright, look out, bud. You, you might not want to... Dude, you so don't want to be standing there. I'm just saying, you... you find another corner. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> find another corner. Mr. Mending, go, go somewhere else. I'm happy with you. <laughs> there we go. There's our eight buckets of lava collected. Let's put those back in our lava bucket. Which is almost back to capacity. Just need one more bucket and all of that back to where it needs to be. Um, yeah, I'll close those so they don't fall in a hole and get stuck. Idiots. Yeah, because what I'm thinking of is using maybe on the other side of this door where we've been getting in and out setting that up as a decision station where we give them a give them a job see if we like what they have to offer give them a job again and keep doing that until we get a job we like understood and then use this area down here as a holding a holding area um, actually now that a beholding area no a holding area we don't really need the water streams anymore either. Mm -hmm. Let me get rid of those because I'm tired of fighting the current. And we can actually just start dropping the, the guys that we already have down into this pit. And uh, we'll take care of them in a little bit. We got enough light so nothing's going to spawn in here and kill them. Because that would be a tragedy. Alright, we can actually pick up these trapdoors here. Pick up that brick wall there. Dude, I swear you don't move. I will hit you with this axe and neither one of us is going to like that. Yeah, yeah, I want you to move. Do you not see me working here? I'm not some state employee. I'm working. Alright. Now, here's the question. Do I want to bring this floor up a little bit more? Or do I want to drop it down one more? What do I have under all this dirt anyway? Is that stone brick under? No, I got stone brick under some of it. Yeah, he, he seems to be leaving stuff in his mailbox. Just, just like his uh, email, he, he just leaves stuff there until, you know, later. You know, I gotta tease you about that, right? Alright, uh... Decisions, decisions. No, I actually... I want this room to be a little bit, uh... Lower to the ground, so we'll go ahead and we'll start pulling this up. I'll beautify the floor later. Dude. Bob, you gotta find somewhere else to hang. <laughs> uh, 
Bob not cooperating? No, Bob is not cooperating. And now I need to go find a name tag so I can call him Bob. Because I don't care what his profession is going to end up. I am so going to name him Bob and just leave it there. Oh, 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 oh. Water. That's right, because I was hydrating the middle part of the... Uh... <laughs> it's been a little while. Okay. Because I know we can't leave these guys in the boats. They seem to have... Oh. find where that ghost block was. There we go. Dude. What, a llamas is broke? Like, somebody broke him, or he has no money? Um, are you feeding him bales of wheat or regular wheat? And since he was spawned beforehand, he legit could be broken. I know the trader's broke. I already tried, you know, seeing what he had. But All right. So in theory, I should just be able to keep Pulling these out from under the boat. And there they go. Uh, F3 Bravo gets us the hitboxes. So I can make sure I hit the boat and not them. Dude. You best go find somewhere else. I am swinging an axe. And I'm not afraid to hit you. Do we have any new need for uh, a ton of spruce trap doors? <laughs> Go out to the uh, the gunpowder maker. Yeah, yeah, because we probably should add a few levels. Well, here's the thing. I know you were saying uh, when we were working on a couple of things before the stream, uh, you were kind of unhappy with the production level of the uh, gunpowder and sugar cane out of that farm. And I'm wondering if you realize that it's probably about as good as what I got at my base right now. Um, yeah, but you have a generic producer. I'm expecting no. a much higher... A, uh, it's only partially generic. But I, what I was getting ready to say, though, is what we probably ought to do is at the end of the stream, let's go to our respective farms, clear out the boxes... And then leave it AFK until the same time tomorrow. And then take a couple of screenshots of what we ended up collecting. So we can see just how far off they are from each other. Because okay. I, 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 do, I do think that it's not as far off as you think it is. And I'm pretty sure I can prove it that way too. All right. Uh, oh, you dirty. Come here, you porpoise. What did the porpoise do to you? He stole my ink sacks. Oh. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Don't make that joke. Don't make that joke. Family friendly. Family friendly. Guys. Guys, you're killing me. The more you I drop down here, I should have left you all in your boats. <laughs> well, if you're not going to actively trade with them, there's no reason not to leave them in the boat. <laughs> Alright, 
Oh, sorry guys. I'll free you from your boats later. <laughs> after, you know, after clearing out the rest of the uh, spruce trap doors. Because your buddies have proven you can't play nicely. Um. Oh, interesting. Turn around. What? Oh, huh. Are clerics willing to trade now? Well, yeah, they're not in the boat. Literally, the minute I took him yeah. out of the boat, he was willing to trade with me. Speaking about the... Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that's right, because they were the old-style villagers before the update. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> that, mean, that means I can start getting some more glowstone from Mr. Uh, Cleric there. Yeah, you just need to drop down a, a workbench so he can refresh for you. Yeah. Although you might not necessarily need to. And why are those guys stuck? Is there a ghost block there somewhere? Like... What is that hitbox stuck on? I don't... Alright, fine. I'll worry about you guys in a minute. Yeah. Alright, so you wanted to know why to leave them out of the boat? Then that's a good reason to get them out of the boat. What? So we can start trading with them again, at least. I swear, if these jokers don't get out of where I'm trying to work, I will kill a fool. I can breed another one that looks just like you. Need help harvesting something while I'm uh, waiting for those trees to grow rest? Always more dark oak. Dark oak. Um, do you have saplings? We should have some in the community center, no? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. A couple of the boats are stuck on the villagers. Alright guys, let's see how many of you I can free without hurting anybody. Ready, steady, go. Bam. <laughs> you can accidentally hit one and they're all gonna like despise you and make you pay 64 for anything. Yeah. I can replace them. You have no idea how much I was sweating when I was trying to get the guy with mending out of the boat because <laughs> I was trying to get him out of the boat so I could put mending on that trident I gave you yeah. I get it repaired up before I put it in the, the present box and I was like oh no okay it's, uh... you got the uh, you know how to show the hit, the hit boxes right uh, F3 something I... F3B Guys. I keep hitting a three and something until it works. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Well, same thing with chunk borders. I know it's F3 and something, so I just keep hitting buttons until it shows me what I want. <laughs> oh. So F3, you know. I think okay, it's H good. for the chunk board. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. All right, that was fall damage they took, right? Okay, good. Y'all can fall all you want. Just as long as you don't blame me. I mean, it is my fault, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, seriously. Y'all are making this harder than it has to be. getting there. Almost all. <laughs> yeah, no, the more of these guys that start, that are wandering around, the more worried I am that somebody's gonna pull a 
world of tanks and walk in front of me just as I'm firing. You know, like, everything was fine and dandy. Why'd you shoot me? Well, you know, once the shell's in the air, he's on nobody's team. Once gravity takes over for Mr. Axe, guess what? <laughs> That's not how that works, good sir. Yeah, I don't see a check swing button in uh <laughs> in the game. If you could sh kindly show me where that button is and what I need to map it to, uh, <laughs> then I might start changing my tune. <laughs> it's escape. It's the escape key. Actually, it might be Alta 4. Let me go look that up for you. Yeah, yeah. You go try that yourself first, though. <laughs> oh, for serious people. Listen, Mr. Iron Shovel, I am going... <laughs> I'm going to beat you with your own Iron Shovel if you don't get out my way. You might can. I, he may not be the actual Iron Shovel. Someone accidentally got named Iron Shovel and wasn't actually... Iron yeah, I, I noticed there's a couple guys named Iron Shovel. Now, there should only be two. The one that's actually the guy, and then the one that I accidentally put on thinking he was the guy. Come on. Out the way. Move, villager. Get out the way. <laughs> Alright. That's all, y'all. That's all, y'all. Be free. Run around. Give me stuff. <laughs> Drop one uh, <laughs> workstation just to see how many people will turn into it. <laughs> mm -mm. I, I ain't playing with them. Not right now, no. Alright. There you go. Good. Oh, hello, Mr. Lama. I so I can turn that off. Let me move that out of the way. Let me move that out of the way. Oh, no wonder why you couldn't feed him. You gotta tame him first. You gotta keep riding him until you see the little hearts. So now you should be able to feed both of them. Oh, hush. Why are you five? <clears throat> Seriously. It's Minecraft for you. Anyway. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, Rast, you, you should be able to feed them now. Or, let me rephrase that. You should be able to feed them both now. Alright. Uh, dirt would be not precious, not down... Rain. Uh, organics. I had to go look for yeah, I just organics. I can never remember which corner stuff is in. So I end up running from corner to corner to corner going, Are you it? No. Are you the corner? No. Do you have any Cheetos? No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, those are up on the uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. those are over with the edibles. Yeah. All right, uh... yeah, but I'm not sure that's one that I want to... Not ten years yet. All right, Organics is going to have those spruce trapdoors somewhere. The spruce trapdoors. Now you're the spruce pressure plates. <laughs> Time for the Michigan Lighthouse. Hey, go ahead, Arcadius. I'll let you do it. <coughs> you, you know she's not gonna let it go, so you might as well just go ahead and. Well, if I just be quiet and 
she can't say it because she's sick. So oh, oh, at least you, you know, you know, the second you do that, <laughs> she is going to go ahead and jump in. Just so. <laughs> at least get to delay it for a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta work on that so that way you guys have an easier time of posting because right now I, I was thinking about that today um, right now it, it's not gonna be a fun experience to try to get you guys to post on that and uh, that needs to be fixed I'm just not sure what exactly I'm gonna do about that Uh, yeah, I got a couple of different ways that we can make it work, but it depends. Uh, it depends on your tolerance for some of the some of the shenanigans. Seriously? <laughs> I finished renaming the name tag and that's when the anvil breaks. <laughs> that's the one I got the anvils in? That's the one I got the I anvils in. I brought you a couple of name tags earlier. Yeah, I saw that. And I went to go put the name tag I went to rename the name tag. And that's when it became... Oh. <laughs> of course it's oh, going to break then. Break. I know I handed you a few blank ones, but I thought I handed you one named Bob. No, you handed me four blank ones. <laughs> That's right. I got it squared away. Because I've got more name tags somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in my redstone box over at my base. Double. Alright. Build your retainment kit. Got a whole bunch of weakness potions, some golden apples, and a couple of already named ones, and then a couple of... Alright, so I named them Bob. Backs of regular ones. You sure it was that one and not one of the other ones? Well, it's... I had a 33% chance. I mean, it was one of the idiots in a brown robe and no profession. <laughs> but we actually have some that we never tra traded with? Yes, because I had brought up a couple of extras before the update, just in case we needed more villagers or something happened along the way. Because I wasn't oh, okay. sure how long, how many the iron farm was going to need and all that. So some of the guys that are currently sitting up on the ledge, you know, doing nothing, nothing of any use. Uh, some of those guys are going to come back down into the system to become villagers too. Okay. No, I didn't realize uh, that we had blank profession villagers. And I don't know that I ever traded with uh, Farmer John over here. It, why is there an extra one over there? Oh, never mind. That's right, because that's the one that you had kicked out of the boat by accident. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. Go on. Down on the hole with your friends. Oh, goodness. Really? Down, down. No. Dude, don't. Get in the hole. Don't. Don't make me chase you down. Ain't none of us going to like what happens next. All right. All right, fine. Fine, we'll do this this way. Come here. Got a nice place. But you can sit yourself in, and you too. You look like you're going to be trouble as well. I could tell. Yes. You know she's not going to let it go, right? You can delay this all you want, but that's not going to change anything. I'm just saying. 
Okay, fine. I was tasked with the... getting the actual body of the lighthouse put together. So I went based off what I recall, like, you know, the most memorable lighthouse in my memory being, and it is the design we have right there, except instead of a black stripe, it contained a red stripe. And for all of my thinking on it, I thought it was Hatteras. Um, no, I didn't do any research. I didn't look it up. I just, I thought it was Hatteras or one of the other uh, lighthouses that are around that coastal zone. And uh, come to find out, no, um, there's only a few that actually use red at all. <sighs> Um, Bastard. And the only one that uses red in a spiral pattern, like the one that I've got over there, the the candy stripe kind of pattern, uh, is one that is in Michigan. Uh, apparently a, a pretty famous one. Like I said, it's the only one that's got that sort of pattern. <clears throat> but as a avid uh, Ohio State fan... <laughs> There's no way I can have a, a Michigan lighthouse sitting here on the server, especially not one with my name on it as being the person who made it. So I, I promptly, after Reyes informed me of what I had built, I had to uh, <clears throat> rip out the uh, red stripe and replace it with black. So now it is actually a lot closer to Hatteras, though. Uh, not, not 100%, obviously. It's a... our own work but mostly just because the base of it isn't exactly right obviously the the connected cabin isn't really um what i want isn't accurate i guess i don't know but uh yeah so are you happy jeez Just do a hearty OH and it'll all be over. Yep, yep, OH. This is survival. Oh, is random? <laughs> I really huh? did not look forward to having to rip that stripe out, but I just, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I thought long and hard about just leaving, and I was like, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. One day I'll make a 2D pixel art of uh, Brutus beating up a Wolverine, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because what, what I'm thinking of doing is tearing up all this dirt and making booths for the uh, villagers oh. over. Oh, I still got the hitboxes up. Okay. And just start lining these areas with as many villager trading booths as we can. That gives us a little more area to work with. I'll get rid of the gap over there. Maybe I'll put a glass floor in. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> maybe extend this out a little bit more. And see if we can figure out a way to get more villagers in here to trade with. And maybe try to sort them a little bit better. <laughs> so so they're actually arranged in a particular order. That is one of the things that I like about this profession-based system is it's a little bit easier to go, okay, and you, good sir, are going there. And you, good sir, are going there. Because you know what profession they're going to be. Because you gave it to them. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> Uh, where? Where was said zombie? I can't sleep. <laughs> oh, look, it's Reyes without her armor and her hoodie. Yes, she wears a hoodie under her armor because she's cold. <laughs> I 
I would say that's inaccurate, but um, it's not. Nope. <laughs> like, forget that protective padding that's normally under armor. She she has the the woolen insulation, <laughs> and then the protective padding. I was about to say no. She still got the padding. Oh no, she still got the padding. Yeah, to keep a little bit warmer. Padding, All fleece right. blanket. So before I head back and wrap this up, here's where the projects stand. I need to get the iron farm going again. That oh. shouldn't be too hard. I gotta Careful. get three villagers and a zombie about 120 blocks above that catching station. I'm probably going to take the top of that off since we don't need the doors in the second level. We just need that first level. Uh, or, now that I think about it and I'm talking about it out loud, I may actually get rid of the second level and try to build a second floor on this trading hall. So that way we've got two floors worth of villagers. Oh, what? Oh, dude. Stop that. You're interrupting me. And why are you, why why am I worried about the zombie carrying the zombie flesh? Like that just seems Lighting is another issue. <laughs> we as you can see we've started working a little bit on the lighting situation. Reyes was working on that before and then she found out a few things were um not lined up quite right. It's the way we cut the field, I ended up having to do from here that way, and then from here that way to get everything to, to line up halfway decent. Um, so anyway, that lighting is a project. Getting the iron farm going is going to be a project. Build, redesigning the interior of the trading hall is going to be a project. I will eventually get to a villager breeder, but honestly, I'm more worried about getting the space to put them in before I worry about the breeder. I just need to keep two guys in reserve, so I'll probably take the two guys that don't have a profession already, just because we've already taken the time to unlock a bunch of those jokers, and uh, I just as soon keep them what they are. <laughs> Because most of them were decent trades, and now the nice thing is, is even the guys that give armor that doesn't necessarily, or weapons that don't necessarily have the enchantments we want, um, as long as the price is decent enough for a diamond sword or a diamond armor, I'd still trade the emeralds for them and then strip the enchantments off on the grindstone, and then go buy the books for what I want to put on there. But truth. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get all those guys together and in place and then figure it out from there. I do need to make sure I leave infrastructure for moving new villagers in, just in case something unfortunate happens, uh, whether that be something unfortunate as in they unfortunately irked me and I lit them on fire or uh, <laughs> something unfortunate happened and <laughs> something unfortunately happened. <laughs> what are you laughing about over there? <laughs> But that, that's probably going to be my next big project. Uh, we'll see how much I can get done between now and next week. But if it doesn't happen next week, I'll or between now and next week, I will definitely make sure that I, I have all the plans and whatnot in place to, uh, to begin working on getting iron generating again and uh, uh, an idea for a redesign on the hall. And then, uh, yeah. Hopefully lighting will happen in between then, and if I hit a point in the week where I just need to do something mindless, I'll try to finish up that mountain. Because I really want to finish wrapping around this side first, and then I'll go back to the lake and finish up that side. Because around the lake I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, what, I'm not sure. Although, I'm half tempted to take this, this, uh, this flat cliff face, build a facade, and put some giant building in there. I just don't know what building I would build into the mountain. Or what mob, what farm would take that much space. Maybe one of those giant carrot potato farms. Hmm. Things 
to think about. All right. So this is where I say thank you for joining along. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Live.anonjunior.com. It's not just a place to support, but it has links to my Twitch stream, my U uh, and Mixer stream. So if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. You'll know when I upload archives. And I have put a halt on my Friday stream, so I'll have a little more time to work on produced episodes so if you want to see when those come out be notified and among the first to view them then uh go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you're on mixer or twitch the link to the youtube channel should be down in the channel description below if you are on youtube watching this later and you want to watch live when we actually do this we do this tuesdays at 6 p.m u.s eastern time i think that is currently minus four utc uh and if you're <laughs> if you're on youtube down in the description below i should have links to the twitch and mixer channel so everything everything's linking everywhere else and live.anonjunior.com also has all that collected together. Streamlabs has a really nice service in that regard. And, um, and with that said, I hope to see you again. If you're interested in more than just Minecraft, on Thursdays I still do Games Revisited. We're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for Season 1. It is a moderately paced walkthrough. I'm not lounging about looking at every blade of grass. Although since we just left Tatooine, there wasn't too much grass to stare at there. But uh, Kashyyyk is more than made up for that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're, we're doing a moderately paced walkthrough. Uh, going to take a look at as much as we can uh, within reason. I'm not going to spend three weeks trying to beat a race for a side quest. So <laughs> if it happens, great. If not then, yeah, that, that, go get the game and play along with us. Also, there seems to be a rumor going around that Knights of the Old Republic, or that era, might be the setting for an upcoming trilogy happening somewhere around the 2020-2022 time frame. That is just rumor. Rumor has it. You can sing the song. Rumor has it. Um, no, I will not sing it because I do not want a copyright strike on my channel as young as it is. Um, anyway, those are the two streams I've got going right now. I should be adding more in the very near future. It's been... Oh, zombie in the breeder? Uh-oh. Um... All right, I'll have to look into that as soon as I say thank you, have fun, and goodbye.